Hello everyone and welcome to EduSearch Clinics. I am Dr. Gunjan Desai and today we are back on our console to clinically correlate the findings of a scan and enhance the discussions that should happen between a radiologist and a surgeon for planning treatment. So as always, we will first see the scan and what you have to do now you already know. Identify the phase, identify what scan it is and look at all the findings right and then we will discuss the findings and we will tell you what we did for the patient as that is the aim of this series that you understand the perspective of the treating doctor as well as the radiologist So that is one phase. Now going into the next phase. I am sure a lot of you have guessed the findings by now. A very simple case actually. Okay, so let us now see this scan. We will continue with this phase only. Gives most of the information that we need. So you can see the pancreatic duct that is dilated a bit of a pseudocyst in this area. right? So pancreatic duct is dilated. There is some stranding around the pancreas in this area. Minimal stranding is seen. You can see the pancreatic duct. That's the pancreatic duct. Right, still dilated, pancreatic duct. Okay, small cells, small calcifications in this area. There is a head mass. Unseen, it looks fairly okay. Right, I'm sure you have guessed the disease by now. Calcifications in the pancreas, and the pancreatic duct is. Dilated, okay, quite dilated. There is a small pseudocyst or a collection in this area with the duct communicating with it. So, no points for guessing a case of chronic pancreatitis with mild inflammation in this area. So, maybe mild acute on chronic pancreatitis or just chronically inflamed pancreas. Some atrophy of the pancreas. You can't see the pancreas reaching right up to the tail. So there is atrophy. Okay. Is there malig malignancy or not? You don't see any hypo enhancing area in the head. Looks more like a head mass of chronic pancreatitis only. Right. But we correlate it with CESA 19.9. Okay, if you see ducts in the head, you can see some ducts in this area. So, when you see ducts inside the mass, usually it is not malignant. Okay, but correlation with CEA, CA 19.9, the history of the patient, if there is recent onset diabetes or new onset pain, okay, a patient who was quiescent for a long time now having pain or significant weight loss and loss of appetite, not correlating with chronic pancreatitis. Those are the things that will give you an idea if the patient has malignancy. Now, whenever we are seeing these scans from surgical point of view, we also need to see the portal vein, the branching of the portal vein, okay, and the hepatic arteries. So, that is where the arterial phase comes into play. You look at the hepatic artery, okay. So, the hepatic artery looks normal in this. This is the artery. That's the splenic, that's the cilia, right? So, follow this. That is, we already discussed how to trace the hepatic artery. You can have a look at that video again. But that is the hepatic artery. This is the left hepatic artery. Okay, joining this one. 
this one and going into the celiac. So arterial anatomy is normal. Okay, there are at least no radio-opaque stones in the gallbladder. Gallbladder is not distended. Other thing to see in these cases is central intrahepatic biliary radical dilatation, which is not present in this case. The bile duct is not dilated, right? So these are some of the points that you need to see. Bile duct dilatation in liver, central intrahepatic biliary radical dilatation, arterial and venous anatomy. Because if you are doing a head coring and there is a replaced right hepatic or common hepatic, massive blood loss can occur, right? And you rule out malignancy in these cases. You can see that the head is prominent, but you can see the duct traversing inside the head. When that is present, usually the patients don't have malignancy. That is known as the duct penetrating sign, right? And that is the case, okay? So in this patient, we did a phrase procedure. Head core tissues were sent for frozen but they were not malignant and the tumor markers were normal so he underwent a phrase procedure right so that is what we need to see in this scan for planning surgery for chronic pancreatitis thank you